Hello friend, this is Jitendra. Today we will going to see content based routing with mule chopped. So what is content based routing? A content based routing means like whenever we are receiving the message, depending on the content of the input message, we will going to route the message to different different destination. Suppose if we are saying like in input message we are getting destination equals to US. So we will route that message to the some web service uh, that is related to US. If it is getting like location equals to destination equals general Germany, so we will route that message to you know like Germany web service like that. So I will going to show you a practical example how you can achieve the content based routing using the MuleSoft AnyPoint Studio. So we will see one practical example with testing. So I will say file. I will create a new project. File new Mule project. I will say like cbr app mule okay i will give, i gave the project name i will select the runtime as a 3.8 by default i have only one runtime uh, i will not going to use the maven i will simply say finish okay it has created one application for you it doesn't take too much time it created the application for you in a seconds so now what we can do we will go into use the http listener okay so under uh, we will going to configure it we will click on the add under the connector configuration we will keep all the setting as a default we will say okay now under path i will say cbr and i will say post okay and after http listener i am going to drop one flow variable so basically i was expecting one query parameter and depending on the value of the query parameter we will going to route the message to different destinations so let me read the query parameter using the flow variable so i will simply drag and drop the flow variable into the message processor region i will say set variable i will give the name equals to destination i will going to read the destination uh, from the inbound message property This is the inbound property, and I have to read this para a value from the query parameter. So I will look for the HTTP query params. So this is the value. I will give the query parameter name equals to dest. Okay. This. Okay. So this is how we can read the destination value. So for content-based routing, MuleSoft provide the choice router. Okay. So we will going to search for the choice router in the mule pellet so i will drag and drop into choice router here so i will going uh, now we have a, we have to set some condition like when destination equals to this so we have to route the message to this location if destination equals to this we have to route message to this location so what and if you if no condition is match so it will go to the default router so first thing what i will do i will use the for simplicity i will use the different file connectors so i will say file get uh, don't drop till you see the black line so now you can see the black line so as soon as you see the uh, vertical black line you can drop your component again i will use one more file component okay so i will say as soon as you see the black line you can uh drop your component it's so uh, once uh, it, the black line means like once you see the black line it will going to add a new router okay now let me uh, create some folders uh under the test resource i will create two folders uh i will name them like the i will say us one folder name is us i will say qk okay i will going to configure both folder uh, both file adapter i will say so in second okay okay 
in default we will simply set up some payload i will say okay uh, i will set some value for payload i will say no destination found okay now we have to configure our choice router so it's very simple simply you have to say flow vars dot destination equal to equal to us so go to this file okay you see like some order is not proper so i will show how you can make your order proper like after flow you can default then after that like that so i will show you flow bars dot dst equal to equal to UK sorry okay so what you have to do to make the order properly you simply open the configuration x7 now again go there now click on the choice order you can see that everything has been properly ordered now okay so for testing we will going to use postman let me open the postman okay postman is open so we can deploy our application so i will click on console okay i will deploy my application now i will set my postman okay so let me change the path uh, dash equal to us okay it's a post method uh, let me check if we have any body uh, let me close this okay i will use this one i will say cbr dash equals to us let's check whether yeah application has been deployed successfully let me check once glory video okay what we have given the new dot test okay okay now what we are doing we are using the destination equals to us it means the whatever message we are sending it should go in the us folder okay let me verify okay so as soon as you click on the send okay we got 200 okay and we will going to verify whether file has been dropped into us folder or not yeah you can see the file has been gone to us folder because we have said i am going to explain like why because we are sending destination equals to us in the query parameter and if we see our application what we have said like if flow var dot destination equals to us then go to the this destination i will going to show you other example i will say uk now file should go in the uk folder i will say refresh so in us we order only one file in uk we got one other file okay now 
in case if destination doesn't found i will say uk1 okay it will give you a message no destination found because we have set the payload equals to no destination found so see no file has been created into uk and us so contain this routing is very simple with mulesoft okay thanks for watching video